You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers from Monday, March 25th, all the way to the end of the first week of April, Friday, April 5th. We are excited to bring these all to you. If you have not, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. All right, we're going to dive right in. All right, coming at you on Monday, March 24th, we've got a very upset and tearful Thomas telling his daddy, Ridge, that Hope just blindsided him. To be fair, I do think he blindsided her as well by asking her to marry him again when she wasn't quite ready to hear it, but I'm still cheering for those crazy kids. Steffi Forrester and Hope Logan resume their argument on Monday. It is going to get out of hand. They are both going to be enraged. I think they are going to sling some words that neither of them can take back, and at the end of all of this, it looks like Thomas is going to take off and head back to his place because he doesn't want to be around Hope. He doesn't want to run into her. He is quite tormented, being very angsty, and I, I feel pretty bad for Thomas right now. On Tuesday, March 26th, someone else feeling bad for Thomas is his sister, Steffi Forrester, who follows him home to chat. And we did a sneak preview, you can see, of this scene if you want to see it ahead of time. And the uh, just check our main page or the Bald and the Beautiful playlist. But Steffi is not just giving Thomas advice. She's making a case for all the reasons that Hope does not deserve a guy as good as him and why he should just walk away from her. And it looks like he's taken Steffi's words to heart. Meanwhile... Brooke and Ridge are facing off with Hope, and of course, she's complaining to them about Steffi messing with her relationship, but I don't think Ridge is going to let her sling mud at Steffi when Ridge thinks that Hope is the one in the wrong for basically, I don't know, stringing Thomas along, and I do not think Brooke is going to like the questions that Ridge is hitting Hope with, and that's That's going to be uncomfortable. That takes us to Wednesday, March 27th, when Hope's out of there now, and Steffi's back at the office after telling Thomas to break up with Hope, and Brooke and Steffi face off. These two are never going to be ladies who lunch together. You know, they get along about as well as the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, you know? Um, it's going to get nasty because Brooke isn't going to like Steffi trying to blame Hope for all of this and the way she's talked about her daughter. And I think Brooke may have some things to say about Thomas, may sling a little mud towards Thomas. She's been nicer to his face, but if Steffi really stirs the pot, Brooke might slap back and say stuff like, Hope is way too good for him. Thomas has such a shady background. And then I don't even know how messy this is going to get. Clearly, Steffi is picking up the mantle and brawling with Brooke in place of her mother since they have sidelined Dr. Taylor Hayes. Thomas makes a huge decision and he tells Hope. So I don't know if he comes to the office or she comes by the house to try and get him to see reason. But it's very clear to me that he is going to break up with her. And I know those of you who hate them together are going to have a great Wednesday. You're going to be cheering, but I think by the time that May Sweeps rolls around, you're going to be a little, little disappointed, but we'll see how that goes for you guys. Thursday, March 28th, Steffi is over the moon. It went exactly like she wanted it to. Her brother listened to her. Looks like he is walking away from hope. And I think Steffi feels like everybody can move forward. Now, I don't know if she's thought this through from a business perspective, because Hope for the Future is a big earner for the company. And I just, I can't see... 
Thomas being able to work with her after this. I mean, she probably will want him to, but I don't know if he can, you know, sit across the desk because she was his muse, his inspiration. And, and all that was wrapped up in them falling for each other for real. So it's very complicated. What's also complicated is the fact that Thomas and Hope have been spending a lot of time together with Beth and Douglas doing family things and acting like a real family. We haven't seen it on screen, probably because they don't want to pay to have the kids around, but Hope has talked about it. They have mentioned it when talking, and then Hope mentioned it when talking to her mom about that she and Thomas are a family with Douglas and Beth, so that's very interesting. So Thomas and Hope break the news to Douglas. Sounds like that they are breaking up, and the kid is, of course, going to be devastated and I'm sure he's going to beg them not to do it, and it's probably going to be very painful and rip the scab off for both of them. That takes us to Friday, March 29th. Hope is upset after having to tell Douglas about the breakup, and she and Steffi are fighting again. They are saying nasty things to each other again. I know from the promo for the week that it looks like Hope tries to slap Steffi, so I don't know if that comes earlier in the week or if it's part of their big week-ending fight because they've got, it's like an Oreo cookie with double stuffs where they really brawl on Monday and they really brawl on Friday and then some good gooey, gooey stuff in the middle. And then we have got Zenday talking to Luna on Friday. They are discussing um, if they have a future together. And Zenday, Zenday, really? No. Quit asking stupid questions. That's a dumber question than asking someone to marry them when they've told you they're not ready to be proposed to again. I don't think Luna wants to think about Zenday and what went on. All right. The week of April 1st through 5th, Friday conversations usually spill over on to Monday, so I hate to spill the non-April Fool's news that you should expect to see Zenday, Luna, RJ stuff coming, you know, the first day of April and then the first week of April. Also, look for more of Poppy trying to solve her little Luna problem, you know, where she's sitting on that dirty, dirty secret. May sweeps begins in April this year, specifically April 25th, 2024. I do not expect the truth about who Poppy let pop a baby in her until then. And for those diehard Bill Spencer theorists, I just don't see it going that way, although I think it'd be great. But here, here's the other thing to think about. If you know much about Bold and the Beautiful, if you've been watching for a while, you should know by now, if fans want something really badly, they generally don't give it to you or they give it to you and snatch it back or they give it to you on such a slow burn that you don't care anymore by the time they deliver. I'm just going to say that. Hope and Steffi's war is far from over. We're going to see more of that next week as each is blaming the other for the breakup of Thope. Once again... Steffi has cost Hope a man she loves. Usually it's Liam, but this time it's Thomas. I think Steffi's going to be feeling pretty smug, but I don't think Thomas is going to be feeling too smug. He's going to have an achy, breaky heart. Look for more Finn and his nine-toed terrifying hallucinations. The Sheila story is not done yet. Those are all of the two-week spoilers that I have for you. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon. We are here talking B&B seven days a week on your number one most followed soap opera channel on YouTube. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 